because right now, given what we're seeing on the charts with high degree of probability, the correction to 31K has started. Don't think that we're just going to dump to 31K like that. It never happens like that. You put in a distributive channel. So a channel of distribution. That channel of distribution is more likely than not going to look something like that, where you put in a lot of dancing up and down, up and down this channel. In the time Bitcoin dances up and down this distribution channel is when you should be paying attention to altcoins. That's the great news about this, okay? Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is November 14th, 2023. And our Bitcoin correction is unfortunately confirmed, okay? Fortunately or unfortunately, okay? Like I said yesterday, okay? If this level right here, the midline of this channel, was broken, we could say with a high degree of probability that this right here, this move is an initial break of structure, okay? And that's exactly what happened. This is the beginning of a much larger correction, which goes all the way down to $31,000, okay? Guys, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news of all of that is, although Bitcoin is likely to um, sort of... Uh, activate or to perform a large correction down to 31k altcoins may not necessarily follow suit altcoins may be raring to go so we're going to talk about both what we can expect from bitcoin given what we saw today in the price action and what we should expect from altcoins in the immediate short term guys if that sounds interesting to you then watch until the very end hope you're having a great day Let's get started with Bitcoin. Like we said yesterday, we were looking at this level right here. The midline of this channel was support until it wasn't. And now it's broken. And again, the reasoning behind my saying that if we broke this midline, we should no longer expect continuation to the upside in this trend. Because in Elliott Wave theory, a trend is unbroken and not only makes higher highs and higher lows, but mathematically does not retrace beyond the phi ratio or 0, 0.618 of the preceding uh, trend, the preceding wave, okay? So if you were to say that this was part and parcel of this impulse, right? Then this right here was still okay because we had come down to the 0, 0.618 of this preceding wave but now that we came all the way down we retraced a hundred percent okay forget you know seven eight six nine one four we retraced a hundred percent of this right here then we know what is likely coming with a high degree of probability we've seen this movie before let's zoom out and sort of uh let's paint the picture once more if you guys didn't catch um my mock-up or my if you didn't catch what i what i annotated yesterday on the charts so really quickly very likely one wave one two three four five okay so those are my five waves and this is my initial break of structure a b c i'm expecting okay that's just basic you know run-of-the-mill elliott wave theory five waves up three waves down the f the first five waves take as about as much time as the subsequent three waves that's your wave one that's your wave two okay so what do we expect given this all right we have now more data so we can say with a high degree of probability given our read on the market on the bitcoin market right our wave up from uh about 26 8 all the way to 38 k right that $10,000 move took about 25 days. So our subsequent retracement should take around 25 days. So that takes us about to December 4th, thereabouts. So the beginning of next month is when we should expect 
Bitcoin not only to come down to the $31,000 mark, but also to start moving back up again. And at that point, we can expect some major moves, right? Because it goes wave one, wave two, wave three, which is typically the longest, uh, the strongest and the quickest of the Elliott waves. Okay, so that is basically what we should expect in the beginning of December. But until then, we should expect some choppy, you know, a B wave, which we're in officially right now, because this, let's go back to the four hourly time frame, Guys, if you're getting value, please like, share, and subscribe. So this is, with a high degree of probability, our A wave. And that's, whoops. Let me do this again. Uh, okay, 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 okay. This dot is annoying me. I'm sorry. My OCD is activated. Okay, got it. So this is, with a high degree of probability, our A wave. It's a three-wave initial breakup structure. It's a corrective wave. You know, corrective waves come in flavors of three, as uh, Ralph Nelson Elias told us. So if that's our A wave, what do we expect from a B wave? B waves come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Just know that you can get some funky stuff and you should make, uh, it's likely you can go up to the 786, right? A minimum 786 of this A wave, but don't be surprised if you get a higher high from this B wave, okay? That's going to fool a lot of market participants who are not savvy to, you know, corrective patterns. Don't be surprised if this B wave goes all the way to 40K. In that time, altcoins are going to do interesting things, okay? Remember, we said this yesterday. These, let's just put a run of the mill B wave, another three wave move, and then a, a distribution, and then that big move. It doesn't happen just because right now, given what we're seeing on the charts with high degree of probability, the correction to 31K has started. Don't think that we're just going to dump to 31K like that. It never happens like that. You put in a distributive channel. So a channel of distribution. That channel of distribution is more likely than not going to look something like that, where you put in a lot of dancing up and down, up and down this channel. In the time Bitcoin dances up and down this distribution channel is when you should be paying attention to altcoins. That's the great news about this, okay? Two pieces of good news about this development in the charts. One, that we're getting a proper correction, which is expected, which should take us down to the $31,000 level, which was heretofore very important resistance, right? Let's go back on the daily time frame and illustrate that. You can't have a sustainable move unless important resistances are retested as support. This right here, the top of this blue channel, was important resistance since March of 2023, right? So basically, for uh, nine months almost, important, important resistance. It must be retested as support before the market continues to the upside. So that's great news that that is likely going to happen. The other piece of great news is that in the time that we're taking to make this correction, we are going to see an alt season, the beginning of alt season. Altcoins are going to take uh, the lead in the market, okay? Why? Because they didn't make their runs, right? Bitcoin has gone up substantially. Altcoins are now going to use this time to catch up. That's where the focus should be, okay? The other piece of data we have is our all too important US dollar currency index, the most important indicator in anyone's uh, repertoire, at least it should be. Whether you're in crypto or traditional markets, this is the market mover, this is our liquidity provider. And what do we see here is that we're finally getting this impulsive move down, okay? This was our distributive channel and we finally broke down from it. Actually, sorry, the distributive channel was, let, let's, let me redraw that, excuse me. That's the top, that's the bottom. Breakdown, retest, boom. That's exactly what we expect, right? Important resistance retested as support. Important support retested as resistance. So on the way down, important 
support broken, retested as resistance. Boom. Now the move down starts that impulsive move down. So my initial theory of this, this um, gap being filled sometime later in the future looks like it's going to happen later in the future. So I wouldn't be worried about that gap being filled anytime soon. What you should focus on is the progression of this impulsive wave down, okay? And that is basically what is going to propel our market forward. Even though Bitcoin is correcting in the immediate short term, the idea, the fact that we're getting liquidity in the crypto markets given the US dollar index going down is what we should be super excited about for an end of year rally in crypto. Okay, so that's the US dollar currency index. But I digress. I did say really great is that the altcoins are what are going to really take off given what Bitcoin is currently doing right now. And you can see this on the total two chart. So this is the aggregate of all altcoins in the cryptocurrency space, right? And you can see that they've recently broken an important 500 day resistance level. As you can see by this wedge, this symmetrical uh, triangle being broken to the upside. Any break to the upside requires a retest before continuation, okay? And I think we're going to retest this on the smaller time frame and then on the larger time frame. Okay. But on the smaller time frame, what you can see, let's zoom back in on the four hourly time frame, um, is that retest is almost complete. Okay, as you can see right here, we've gone up here, and you're coming down, and you're almost back to this 500 day resistance being retested as support. Again, just like I said yesterday, be careful. You may get a compounded retest, okay? Don't discard, discount the notion, the idea, the possibility or probability, right? Because everything's possible. The probability uh, that you come down and retest this twice. So don't get fooled in thinking, you know, we're, we're out scot free. We, we may be, it's just, you know, that happens sometimes, you know, you get a double retest, but in any case, you're looking for a retest of this also important resistance as support before altcoins are really moving, uh, in, in, in concert, right? Uh, but some altcoins are going to go nevertheless, right? And you can see that here in your Bitcoin dominance chart, you know, the measure of Bitcoin dominance vis-a-vis -vis other assets or the measure of dominance that Bitcoin has in the cryptocurrency market vis-a-vis -vis other assets. So if Bitcoin dominance is going up, that means um, Bitcoin is gaining against altcoins and vice versa. If it's going down, that means altcoins are gaining against Bitcoin. Here, what we have is an interesting head and shoulders bearish reversal pattern. Okay. Now, these head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, they're reversal patterns. They don't always break the way people think they do. Inverse head and shoulders don't always break up. Um, you know, uh, regular head and shoulders don't always break down. So you want to be mindful of that. But we're looking like we want to break down right here. And this is some distributive pattern. Don't be surprised if that happens. If that happens, that's confirmation of what we're saying here, that altcoins are going to rule the day in the period of time that Bitcoin is distributing. I believe just on average, because we said about 25 days, it took 25 days to go from 28 to 38, right? Or 26 to 38. I believe that that distribution may take, what, 28, you know, two weeks, 14 days, something like that, 14 to 20 days. So in 14 to 20 days, as Bitcoin is dancing in a distributive channel, right? Altcoins gain against Bitcoin. In the next two weeks, we should see some interesting things in the altcoin markets, okay? And what I want to do with the rest of the time is look in particular at some examples, okay? So the task for the seasoned investor and trader at this point is to identify those altcoins that are going to move uh, in this time, okay? Because you can look at the general trends on the total too, but you know, not everything moves together. 
Some are going to go early, others are going to go late. As you can see here with DYDX, this is already started, okay? And this is a good example of some altcoins are going to buck the trend and Bitcoin's preparing to go down in the aggregate, but it's alt season for a lot of these altcoins like DYDX. Will it continue? I'm not exactly sure, but you know, that you should expect some to just start going off. Another one, uh, I don't know, again, if DYDX is going to start correcting from here or continue, you could do either one, but you have to look at these carefully and individually. Uh, but do be prepared for altcoins to start going off in the coming days. A uh, blur is always, has, has recently been, a, you know, in the past few months, blur has been an early mover. Right. As you can see, it's broken its uh, important resistance, retested it as support. It's going, it's going, it's chopping up. Don't be surprised if Blur starts that move to its next major resistance at one dollar and thirty two cents thereabouts. So that's always something I have when I'm looking at assets to trade early in the move. Right. When a trend is kind of initiating, I'm looking at Blur as one of the heralds one of the mm, early adopters of the trend right don't be surprised if blur starts to move early blur dydx what else do we have um you know you just got to look around poke around your watch lists and see you know what fits the bill and what you want to see is a proper retest lit lit entry is another one that i wouldn't be surprised if it started moving sooner than later why we have clearly a level of resistance here right and we poked our heads out tested retested i like a double retest a double retest tells me that okay whatever is going on it's likely complete right because we know that most corrective patterns come in flavors of three this is a flavor of three right anyway I'm, I'm not going to redraw it. You can see it's a flavor of three. So do expect movement from those kinds of assets. Hook is another example. Look at that. You formed your pattern here, your W pattern. You broke out flavor of three retest of the neckline. Don't be surprised if you start moving. So that's what you want to look at. Even Litecoin, which is a high cap altcoin, right? Look at what this chart looks like. Same idea. You have a level of resistance of your accumulation channel. You break out, you retest once, twice, right? A flavor of three retest. This is what you want to look out for. These are the trades the savvy investor is making in the coming weeks while Bitcoin is correcting all the way back down to 31K. Guys, if you got value, definitely like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share this video. Um, I don't know whoever else is talking about this. I don't really watch other uh, analysis these days, but definitely share this video if you think it's useful. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.